hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to cut four pieces um slate or skirt in ghana we say slate so that's what we are going to learn how to cut okay we are going to draft it and know how it is done so even if you're a beginner you'll be able to do it and so if you are watching me and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing like and share this video for me okay so we are going to make use of um brown paper and we are measuring 10 inches you can choose to measure eight inches it depends on how much you want it to um the down to flow so i'm measuring 10 inches you can choose to measure eight inches okay let me take you through the measurement you are going to use what we need for this is your waist measurement your waist, I'm using waist 34. Your hip measurement, I'm using 44. Then your skirt length or your slit length. And I'm going to use 40 because the length of this paper is 40. And since it's a pattern, we are not going to add any allowance to it. And so waist beef. 34 we are going to divide it into four and that is because it's four pieces so we'll divide it into four if it's six you divide it into six and so we'll divide this into four and that is going to give us 8.5 we'll divide the hip also into four and that is going to give us 11 okay so that's what we are going to use to draw our pattern okay we have a 10 inch line and as i said you can decide to make it eight it's not strict that you should make it 10. that is going to determine how wide you want your flare at the down part to be and as part of measurement you need your waist to your waist to knee usually is between 18 and 19 so i'm going to make use of 18. if it goes beyond that you shouldn't get exactly at your knee it doesn't you don't really get that fish shape you want it doesn't look really that beautiful so i'm going to make use of 18. if you are doing it on a fabric you can use 90 so that the one inch will become your sewing allowance or 18.5 so that's what we are going to use now we are going to take our measurements from this line so from waist to me i'm using 18 so i'll measure my 18 here this is my 18 i'll measure it here and from my waist this is my waistline this place is my waistline so from my waist to hip i'm using nine nine so it's usually between six to nine you shouldn't go beyond nine nine okay okay so our waist measurement divided by four is 8.5 and so 8.5 we'll put it here if you're adding hip if you're adding that to it which is you are making it a skirt form that so you add one inch that and that is going to be 9.5 and so place our 9.5 here then we come to our hip our hip is 11. we are not adding any allowance because it's a part and so this is 11. then we come to the knee now when you get to the where the knee is this is 11 the hip area you reduce it by one and make it and use it for the knee area so instead of 11 we are going to make it 10. we are going to make it 10. you can even reduce it by two depending on how fitted you want it to be at the that shape area the corner area okay when we come to the down part here you will decide how long or how wide you want the flare to be and so we are going to make this 15 15 we are going to use 15 we are going to use 15 for here 
you can use 16 17 any length you want okay now we are going to join the points so we are going to join the points so we come to the from waist to hip this is our hip line then we come to the shape um, from hip to the knee side I'll turn my I'll turn my curve this way. You can you can also decide to use straight ruler, but I'm going to turn it. Okay. I'm using the curve to turn it. Okay. And so this is it. Then we are going to join from this to the 15 we measured. As I said, you can use any length you want, how wide you want it. So this is it. This is, this is it. Then when you come here, we are going to, from this place to this place, from this, that is where the knee point is. And so we are going to draw it to the 10. That is why I said it's not compulsory to make it 10. You can make it eight or lesser than that, or even more than that, but I use 10. And so we'll join it to this place. And you can use two yards fabric for your four pieces skirt. So this is it. So this is going to be the middle. This is the sideways. And so when you cut this, you are going to use this to cut four of this. You are going to have four of these. Because there are no allowance on it, when you put it on your fabric, you add your allowance to it. And so maybe you can add half inch depend on the allowance you want you can add maybe two inches or one inch let's um, add one inch so one inch allowance to it so one here too then you come here so you add your one inch to it that is your allowance Then when you come here, this is the middle. You are going to join to the other middle part. You just add half an inch. You don't really need much here. Just half an inch to join it. And so you can, unless maybe you don't sew at half an inch. So this is half. I have my half on the line. And so you can decide to cut it here. This is your allowance. This is your one inch allowance. Do you cut it? So when you place it on your fabric, no need for adding any other allowance. But for pattern, we will just cut it here. Let me label it. This is waist. Let me use. Waist. Hip. And then knee. So this is it. And so I'm going to cut it out. And so with this, you are going to get four of these to make your skirt. Now, if you get to the back, you will need zip allowance. And so instead of adding half inch at this area, you calculate your zip allowance, maybe two inches or one and a half inch. Then you add it to it so get to this point. You just make it up.